Okay, hello guys, this is Mitch from Mitch Tarantulas. I just got back from the expo in Netherlands in Houghton, where I met Andrew from Andrew's Tarantulas. He's a really cool guy, by the way. And uh, these are my pickups. So first of all, I got a Salmopius Cambridge Eye. Just looks like a tangle of legs right now. But she's gorgeous. I mean, really active as well. She just keeps moving around. So that's my first pickup. I also got Psalmopius Ecclesiasticus, which is great. Been stoked for a species for a while. I also got a PC Lotaria ornata, which is chilling over there. I got some white, tiny white isopods. I got some orange isopods. I'm gonna be attempting to breed these isopods. I got some lateralis roaches, nothing exciting there, just to boom up my colony again after cutting off half of it. And then I got two Halloween crabs. No, I'm really hyped for these. I actually really like them. So yeah. I also picked up some cork bark and some water dishes and all that kind of stuff, but nothing exciting there. Also two new terrariums, but yeah. That's why I picked up. Okay, I'll be rehousing the Psalmopius Cambridge now. So let's see what mood she's in. Let's hope a good one. But oh damn, is she pretty. Hmm. She doesn't seem too keen on getting out. <laughs> Let's get that piece of cord bark out first. Wrong way, girl. She's being really docile, though. She really does not want to come out. Okay, you know what? She can come out whenever she pleases to. This isn't working. I'll just insert some pictures of when she decides to come out. So, um, this is a thing that happened. I don't really know what to do now. I finally got her out of the cup and then she goes and does this. I know they can jump, so I hope she doesn't leap at me or something. You just walk down, just walk down, girl. I suppose I'll try and get her in a catch cup or something. Or maybe she'll go in there. I think this cup is even too small for her.
she can wander out into the enclosure. There we go, and now we close the enclosure. And she is inside of the enclosure. There we go, very nice. So this will be your new home for now. Hope she'll like it. Seems like she's having trouble climbing the glass. I'm sure she'll get around though. There she goes. She found a place to chill. All right, I'll let her settle in and yeah, I'll do the next video now. See you guys. All right, guys, we'll be rehousing our G. Carinus quadratus or the Halloween crabs. I don't know how hard they pinch or if they'll even pinch me or if they're handleable or not but I'm guessing we're about to find out There's crab number one. At the moment he just lets me touch him. Oh, not anymore. Hmm, okay, so he's not happy, so I'll just see if he'll scurry out on his own. That way, that way. And yes, he will. And in he goes. Or she, I don't know if it's male or female. Okay, so while that one goes around doing her thing, I'll grab the other one. I might look for a rock or something to find the water dish because it might be a bit deep. But I'll see about that still. Uh, man, these lids are quite something. There we go. Let's see if this one is calmer. Trying to run for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. So if we've got a crab on the loose, it's pinching onto the tub. Whoops. Careful, dude. There we go. The female going in. I think, I don't know. So this one is orange eyes, or the other one is yellow eyes, so that's one way we can differentiate the two from each other. I should probably put in a food dish or something like that, right? <laughs> I don't know what I could use as a food dish yet, so I'll have to figure something out with that. You see that one has whitish eyes, well that one has like orange things on the eyes. So yeah, all that. Close the door. I'll watch.
watch them move about a bit. There we go. They were on some kind of sponge, but I don't know what the sponge is, I don't know if it's food or not. Their Latin name is G. Quirinus Quadratus. I'm not able to pull the stickers off, so I'll just write that on there some time later. I'll keep the lids on there for now. So, yeah, they've got rooms in there the bark to hide under and all that good stuff so we should be okay hopefully they won't fight There's no aggression there, so that's good. I like these little guys. They're cool. There's like a bit of a foam that came out. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. It's just me. It's just me. Don't worry about it. Alright, so that's my uh, new Halloween crafts. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next thing I do. Okay guys, this is the enclosure I set up to culture my isopods. So I've got no clue what species name is these actually. These are supposed to be the tiny white ones. There's some saying on here. And the substrate I have for them is cocoa fiber with leaf layer and some pieces of bark for them to hide under and also put this piece of salad in there. Since these are natural decomposers, you should be just fine. Look, there's some over there. They don't seem to be moving though. Oh, they're fine. Okay. So I'll just sprinkle these in there. And we'll get to see how many are in there. There's a few there. There's another bunch over there. Oops. I suppose just dunking it out. Um, so at first sight, there's really not much movement in them, is there? And there's one right here, but... She can see it doesn't seem to be moving at all. Oh, it does. There we go. Just needed some encouragement to get a move on. So these are the isopods I'm planning to use for most of my tarantula enclosures. So I'll stick you back in there. Off you go. Get off my... There you go. And uh, we'll spread the dirt a bit out. Dig up our corkwork pieces and put them down again. 
I'll leave the leaf layer kind of submerged because it doesn't really matter much of the leaf layer is submerged or not because these will get to it anyway. But I'll pull up some. There we go. Now I'll put these in again. Make sure they've got something to uh, hide under, you know, so they're not out in the in the dark. Where's the piece of salad? There we go. So that'll be the eyes of pot culture. I think these are the powder whites or something. I'm pretty sure there's one moving about. There's a few moving about there. So I've been told that these um really don't need ventilation holes if you've got a lid like this that just um, yeah, goes on top and then like clips with those things apparently enough airflow goes through to just leave them fine like this so we'll see how that goes if anyone's got a lot of experience with reading isopods please let me know how this um, setup looks like if it's good or not if it's bad and also let me know if I am um, can chuck different species in there with them. Cause, uh, I have these isopods, which I also want to cultivate. But I just stick them on the same setup if that's possible, but I don't know if it is. So let me know what you guys think about that. You reckon I could just stick them together? I don't know. If not, I'll, I'll just go grab another one of these steps right here tomorrow and then set up another one. So also let me know what the Latin name for these is, species name. I think it's like powder, powder whites or something, I don't know. But yeah, these will be cultivated from that one. And hopefully bring us lots of baby isopods that we can use in our enclosures. Because I've started filling up some of them, but I run out of substrate. But I want to put some isopods in there. And there's other stuff I want to use them for as well. So yeah, that was this video. That's everything on the isopods I have for you. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Okay, we've been given the green light. The uh, orange ones can uh, go in with the yellow ones if we can open the lid. There's okay, <laughs> we have to put you guys down for this. There we go. Let's toss these guys in there as well. And there they go, they're running for it. So I hope these will like their new enclosure. I hope they can't climb out. Doesn't look like it though. Can you try climbing up? No, I don't think they can. So yes, I hope these guys will have a lot of sex and give me a lot of babies. Awesome. They're kind of cute. This will be my breeding setup for my isopods. Ooh. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you want to see more of me and my animals, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload more. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.